Mass, we thank you for your generosity. Just a couple of brief announcements. Uh, we keep trying to keep the community safe today. Obviously, uh, the storm, the bad weather affects the attendance. Plus, the, the Archbishop, he has not lifted the uh, dispensation for Mass yet. So we're trying to work with the uh, civil authorities, with the governor, the uh, mayor, the city as we continue to move forward during this time of pandemic. So uh, we have offered in the back of the church there are masks available. Since they are without the cover, the instructions say that you can wash those uh, masks 15 times. So you can wash them. I've been reading some articles too that they say it's better just to put them out in the sun, let the sun purify the masks, uh, but they can, they're washable, so you can do that. And, and we have a good uh, supply of masks, so the, the uh, intention is that everybody can uh, protect himself or herself and keep others safe as well as we abide by the uh, instructions that we receive from the uh, uh, government leaders and from the archdiocese as well. The um, Masses, we continue to live stream this Mass at 9.30 and the 11.30 Mass. Those Masses stay on our website the whole week, so people can access those to be able to join us in the celebration of the Mass. And also we have five Masses every week. So we have at 4 p.m. the first Vigil Mass, and then Saturday also we have a 7 p.m. Mass, which is the uh, Neocatechumenal Way Eucharist, and that's every Saturday at 7. So you have a choice Saturdays from 4 or 7. And then Sundays we have our 8 o'clock Mass in the morning is the first Mass, and then this 9.30 Mass and an 11.30 Mass in Spanish. So we feel that we have plenty of Masses uh, to accommodate uh, safely our people and uh, if there is any suggestion or anything that we need to hear from you, let us know as we strive to do the best that we can for you. We're trying to get back to our regular schedule of things. So, for example, uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, Friday, the first Friday of August, we are returning to our all-night adoration here in the church, which we've had already a couple of times, and uh, just the ministries, little by little, being able to come back. So if you had a ministry that you were leading or something that you were doing, uh, it's always uh, good to check with us and, and but we want to facilitate that we can come back to our regular routine. And let's continue praying that, you know, you, you see how things go. It's like uh, ups and downs with cases reported in our state, but we continue praying that uh, we may find uh, solutions and, and that things may continue to move in the right direction so that we can uh, reincorporate all the things that we do throughout the year. It, it's affected everything, so we have to keep praying that uh, as we move forward this year, 2020, that we may be able to uh, change those things. Uh, next weekend, probably, we'll announce the uh, confirmation of our youngsters that will happen immediately after the weekend masses, Monday, August 3rd. So it's not here, so the Archbishop is combining confirmation, so we want to make sure that our community knows, and uh, things like that, you know, they're kind of falling back into place, so we need to continue praying uh, that things will get back to, to normal, and, and that especially uh, we can continue to have all the activities that we have throughout the year. So let us stand as we conclude our liturgy today.